and welcome back to another video of Unplug TV Sunny Hot Australia. It is. In today's video I want to show you how to install the Tesla Watchdog in your Model 3. Well, I call it uh, Tesla Watchdog because I'm coming from the PHEV Watchdog app and now we've got a Tesla Watchdog app. Originally the app is called Scan My Tesla, but it will be the Tesla Watchdog on this channel. Well, all the gear has already arrived a couple of weeks ago, but I haven't had time to put everything in now. So today is the day. Okay, what do we have? This is the wiring harness you need to with the OBD. Then we've got the OBD adapter itself. Pin one, two, three, four. Oh, you know, you pin my pin now. A handwritten letter from saying, I wish you all the best uh, reading out your data and uh, may you have always good numbers and figures. Julian, thank you. And a one-page manual how to install it with a photo. That's where it goes. Uh, yeah, whatever. I don't know. I don't read the manuals. So, first of all, unlock the car. Get rid of the sun shield. Move the seats all the way to the front. All right. Oh, we need some light. We need some light, definitely. So, where the adapter goes in is under this cover. This is the back uh, vent opening with the two USB ports. And exactly this cover here needs to be removed and this is where the adapter goes in. Okay, first of all, get some light, otherwise we're getting in trouble again. So, apparently, this is the cover which needs to come off. And it only pulls, it just pulls straight back. Um, there is no, um, well, they, they do, they are saying use like a little um, wedging tool to get into this gap here and pull it back. I don't have one. I know, screwdriver is definitely not the right tool to do that. You will damage. Ah, here we go, here we go. Okay, use a, use a flat screwdriver, it's fine. Okay, I can show you the clips, where the clips are. Okay, one, two, three, four, five metal clips inside the cover. Yeah, that's where the clips are sitting in. So if you use a screwdriver and start right from the bottom here to actually get some force on that, and then it pops off. Right, step one. Step two, disconnect this connection. All right, be very careful what you do. Don't disconnect this connection. We need to disconnect it, but we need to power down the car. This is a live connection. This is how the car's computer communicate with all the sensors in the car, with all the other bits and pieces, and you don't want to interrupt it while the computer is running. You know, this is like removing components of your computer while it is running. It will not end well. You may be pricking the car and it won't start up anymore. So you have to follow the right procedure to shut down the car correctly. Okay, so I will follow these instructions here on the manual. So go to uh, safety and security, turn off sentry, security switch mobile access off, uh, allow mobile access, turn off, disable mobile, please sign in with your... Uh, Okay, so continue. So this one is turned off and security switch car off. Ah, here power off. This is the power off button to turn off the car completely. They recommend to lower all the windows and also leave all doors unlatched. So in case, you know, yeah, once the car is powered off, you can't get into the car anymore if it's locked. And then it can take up to eight minutes, they are saying, until you hear the cluck sound from the front or from under the car and rear passenger. Yeah, that's definitely down there somewhere in the back. Power off. See you later. Are you sure you want to turn off power? Uh, place foot on brake to turn power back on. Okay, power off. All right, the screen goes black. Wish me luck. Oh, I can hear the cooling fan. 
we have to wait for the cluck sound in the back. It is one minute since I pressed the shutdown button. And I can still hear the pump and the fan, battery cooling stuff. Almost four minutes. Haven't heard any cluck. Okay, so 11 minutes ago I shut down the test lander. I was in the garage to pick up the adapter for just a few seconds and I thought I heard a cluck sound. Well, the car is not responding to anything anymore, so I think it's totally shut down now. Uh, it will be safe to disconnect. So, what we are going to do now is disconnect. There's a security clip on this side, which you need to press down and then disconnect the female part which is a little bit hard because you can't really there we go screwdriver helps and now we just tuck this one in between of course it's the other way around click and we may be able to push this whole adapter down here into this hole as far as possible I could hear the cluck. Car is turning back on. That's good. All right, I'll leave this all as it is for the moment just to do a test and see if we have done everything correctly. Okay, car is responding again. I press the brake pedal to see if we get. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's alive. I don't need it actually here. Yeah, everything seems to be. Up and running again. All good. Okay, let's just check if the car actually turns on. It gives us any messages or something. It could... Yeah, I know. And what we need is the OBD. So I'm not sure if I'm ending up using this adapter here. This is a very cheap um, L. The L. Uh, uh, that's the one I had before in the test in the test um, in the PHEV, which um, worked only for six months or so. I bought another one and here the good VGate iCar Pro 4.0 Bluetooth. This is the one I bought for the PHEV, which worked totally fine. And I hope I can reuse this one for the um, Tesla watchdog as well. But let's go with this one first to see if the actual um, stuff works and then we can evolve from there, right? And here we go. We've got a red light, which is probably good. There are no buttons on this one here to turn it off or reset or something. You need to unplug to reset. So after installation of the OBD adapter, you have to go to your Play Store. By the way, this app only works for Android, the same as the PHEV Watchdog. There's no iOS version. If you use iOS, um, I mean, iOS has never changed since the iPhone 1. Why would you still? Okay, so this is other way. Um, go to your app store and search for scan my Tesla. The app, the app is also not for free. It costs uh, thirteen dollar ninety nine Australian, which is probably ten dollars or ten euros or something in your currency. So I'll go ahead and purchase this one, of course. Okay, payment success twenty megabyte. Okay, so this is the app. Uh, access for the app. Which car? Model 3. Select A. Uh, Tesla Model 3, Tesla and uh, Hands 3. I don't know which one. Okay, it's not, it's not showing up. It's not showing up in the list. I need to read the manual. Step 4. Usage of Scan My Tesla. Download the app. Configure the Bluetooth device. Configure the car. Enjoy the data from your car. Alright, there is no... I don't know, it doesn't connect. It, it doesn't seem to connect. Available devices, zero. There's no device available. What the heck is going on? Okay, I am unplugging the OBD. All right, let's see if there's a communication happening right now. Available, come on. Come on, where is it? It's not here. It's not working. The adapter is not working. 
Uh, well, I don't know what that is now. It's not. It's not working. It's not showing up in my device here. I'll get another phone. Well, the other old phone is not charged. <sighs> okay, I'll get back to you later. All right, guys, I don't know. Uh, I got scan my Tesla running, Tesla watchdog running on my old mobile phone now. So I have now taken out the mini OBD2 adapter, which came with the scan my Tesla uh, wiring harness and I've plugged in the vGate the vGate iCar Pro 4.0 Bluetooth and see if we can get this to work so the first step you have to do is uh, go into your Bluetooth setting of your mobile phone and I can see the Android V-Link which I will click this is my Bluetooth adapter this one will show up as OBD2 just OBD2 I think so we click on this. Uh, this is usually one, two, three, four, if you haven't changed anything. Okay. So this is now paired with the Bluetooth. And then you open the Scan My Tesla app. And you click on this wrench symbol. Uh, choose Bluetooth adapter. And you see the Android V-Link or the OBD2 in the other case. You click on it and it fails. Now that's good. Uh, I can see the red one is power, the blue one is Bluetooth. And there's a green one for data. There's no data yet. All right, let's... Restart. Initializing adapter. There we go. Connected. Like in the good old times, you've got the disco lights here. Red, green and blue. And scan my Tesla is working. So you can fully customize the scan my Tesla app on your mobile phone. What kind of gauges you want to show here how many gauges and you can set up new tabs at the top. I don't want to go through it right now. This video is more about the installation of the wiring, how to shut down the car correctly and how to set up the app on your mobile phone. So I hope this helps you if you want to go ahead with this one. I link all the information down below in the video description where to buy this wiring harness. It's coming from Germany, from a company in Germany. Uh, you can download the app on the Android uh, Google Play Store. It's only Android only, like the good old PHEV watchdog. And you can get the bundle, the wiring harness and the tested OBD adapter in one package from this company in Germany. I'll link this all down below. Maybe it's good it runs only on my old mobile phone because I'm using this all the time. Like in the good old times in the Outlander PHEV, I've used the old mobile phone for the PHEV watchdog. So I will use the old mobile phone again for the Tesla watchdog. That works. Okay guys, I'll tell you more about the app of course in future videos. This will be a huge, huge, huge part of this channel now because we've got all the numbers and figures now, can see what's going on inside the battery and can also make sense, sense, can make sense out of all these hidden features now it shows me the state of health of the battery as well all right guys we talk about this in a future video of course as always thank you so much for watching thanks for all your support this is andy from unplugged tv australia signing off you stay charged and we will see us again in the next video very soon okay see you then bye bye